Hello everyone, this is coadb.com or the Coat of Arms database and today we are briefly going to discuss several different coats of arms in the Curtis family. The first is blazoned as follows, Azure, a chevron dance set between three mural, crown, mural coronets or Crest, a lion sage in proper, supporting with his dexter paw, a shield of the arms. This was the arms of John Curtis Esquire of Tudenham Hall in County Suffolk, England, who was a gentleman of the either the Inner Temple or the Middle Temple of London, and he lived in the year 1664. He was the son of William Curtis of Hatton and grandson of Eustace Curtis of Matstock, both located in Warwickshire. Next is a rather long blazon, per Fess Wavy Argent and Sable and Chief the Rock of Gibraltar, surrounded by fortifications and the sea, and in base three fleur de lis of the first on a canton gules, a sword and a rack proper, hilted and pommeled ore, and twisted with a palm branch vert. The Curtis Baronetcy of Gatcombe in the county of Southampton was created in the Baronetage of Great Britain on September 10th, 1794 for the naval commander, Admiral Sir Roger Curtis, first baronet, and he served in both the American and French Revolutionary Wars. And here we see a oil painting of Admiral Roger Curtis and a list of the Curtis Baronets through the fourth Baronet who passed away in 1954. A Baronetcy uh, was a sort of hereditary knighthood and it came with a coat of arms. Next, another long blazon, Paley of Six Ore and Azure, a Fest Checky Argent and in Sable base, a sword proper pommel and hilt of the first surmounting a key and satire of the second on a canton gules, a dragon's wings erect of the third. This was the arms of a different Curtis Baronets, the Curtis Baronetcy of Collins Grove, Southgate in the county of Middlesex, and it was created in the baronetage of the United Kingdom on December 23rd, 1802, for Sir William Curtis, first baronet, the son of a wealthy London biscuit manufacturer. He was a member of parliament for the city of London and was also Lord Mayor of London. He was later offered a peerage, but he declined. And here we see a depiction of Sir William Curtis, as well as a list of the baronets of Collins Grove through the year 2014. Next, Per satire, Argent and Azure, two horses heads erased in Pale Sable, and as many Fleur de Lis in Fess of the First. This was the arms of Matthew Curtis Esquire of Thornfield in Manchester. He was the three time mayor of Manchester, and he lived in the 19th century. Here we see his photograph and the manor or house of. Thornfield. Next, Ermine a chevron sable between three fleur de lis or quartering savage of Elmley Castle County Worcestershire. We didn't depict uh, the quarters here. And this was the arms of George Savis Curtis, who purchased East Cliff House in Tynemouth County, Devonshire, in the year 1836. Next, Barry of Six or an Azure on a Fest Checky Argent and Sable, three martlets of the first, crest, a dolphin nay an Azure pierced in the side with a feather oar. This coat of arms was registered in 1712 to Robert Curtis of Rose Crea in County Tipperary. Next, Paley of Six or an Azure, a Fest Counter Componi of the same. I am unsure of the armager on this one, but I believe it is possibly a gentleman named Augustine Curtis who lived in Norwich in the 16th century. 
Her satire Argent and Sable, four bears passant counterchanged, in the center a bizant. This was born by the Curtis family of Summerlay and Dronefield in County Derby, and one member of this family was Robert Curtis, who was born in 1646. Next, Argent a chevron sable between three bull's heads cabossed gules, crest a unicorn passant or between four trees proper. This belonged to the Curtis family of Appledore in County Kent, who descended from Stephen Curtis. There was also a branch in Otterden Place in the same county, and a branch of this family in Windmill Hill, County Sussex, England. If you enjoyed this video, and would like to learn more about your ancestors and whether or not they owned a coat of arms, please visit us at coadb.com, link in the description. Thank you very much.